Yo, what's up? So um, I'm going to show you guys how to use a bottom-up SEO approach and what exactly that is and why it's such a good approach, especially with Google's new algorithm update. So a lot of people, they're trying to justify um, what really SEO is and why it's valuable. And so many people get crooked when it comes to SEO is because often an agency is just finishing charts of numbers going up and especially a lot of numbers, but you realize it doesn't always correlate to increased sales. And why this happens is because it's so easy to go put out a lot of uh, article based content. And this is just articles on specific topics that are going to rank really well. And they're going to bring in a lot of people viewing it, but these don't convert. For example, if you're writing about the best spots in your city, um, or anything that's really informational and sort of more lifestyle, just, you know, informational approach that doesn't actually relate to a specific product. A good example for example, would be if you're an HVAC company and you're speaking about the heat in the area you operate or climate change, that sort of thing. It's going to have a lot of people searching it and a lot of people might click on it and you might have authority in that topic and get a really good ranking for these keywords, but that's not going to relate to more sales. And the bottom up SEO approach is simply the inverse of that, where we're going to go for keywords that don't get a lot of views. It doesn't get a lot of traffic, but they're very high and precise in terms of sales. They're a bit more difficult to rank for, but when you actually do rank for them, it's going to be less traffic, but you're going to notice an increase in sales and an increase in conversions because of how intent these keywords are. So let's take an example where we're going to create a landing page and I've got an example here for incense sticks. So let's say we have a store that sells incense sticks and products related to incense sticks. You can apply this exact process to an agency, to a service-based business, um, to a SaaS business, pretty much anything. You just want to apply the principle that, okay, you've got the main thing. Let's say our store is incensesticks.com. And now we're going to have a subcategory on this page where it's holders for incense sticks. So we're going to create that page. And first, the first thing you want to do is you want to identify an actual transactional keyword regarding this. So in the sense, in the terms for holders for incense sticks, this is a transactional keyword. And I'll show you how I found that. The first thing I can do is I can go on something like Samrush where I can see here when I just search incense sticks, I run board match because it's not a very competitive niche. Um, we can find folders for incense sticks. If I have an SEO agency, I might do SEO for SaaS companies, SEO for e-com companies, SEO for HVAC companies, that sort of thing. If I have a SaaS company that converts PDFs, I might go with something like a PDF converter for real realtors, a PDF converter for lawyers, that sort of thing. So we just taking our main product and we niche into the subcategory of something we can apply it into that's going to be transactional. Another way I can find this is when I go and I plug in orders for incense sticks, I see the first thing that comes up is products, meaning to satisfy the search orders for incense sticks, uh, Google wants you to actually push a product forward. And these are going to be on product landing pages if you're in e-commerce. And you can rectify this by looking at what pages they're pushing. First, you want to identify is that a product page or blog page? So I said here, yeah, SEO for realtors. Um, let's see what comes up. I can just by looking at these pages. Okay. Except for SEMrush, I can see that this is sort of, um, these are pretty much blog pages. So in this case, it's not going to be very transactional. So this would not be a great keyword if I wanted to actually sell this thing. However, I could make a lot of blog content around this topic just by changing it very slightly and saying SEO agency for realtors. I can see none of these are blog pages. These are all landing pages, um, for people trying to do SEO for realtors, meaning this would be a transactional keyword. So this would fit as a transactional main page and would be a good fit. Okay. So let's hop back here. I've created my transactional landing page. Holders for instance, sticks is a keyword I want to rank for because if I'm coming up first for holders for instance, sticks, I'm going to win all of this traffic. And not only that, but we can see it's really not a very competitive keyword. This would actually be great if you're selling intense sticks. It's got a keyword difficulty of nine. It actually brings in a surprising amount of traffic and it's very transactional. We saw that based on what sort of uh, keywords and what sort of searches are coming up on Google. So now is where the bottom up approach comes in. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to now create content that's going to rank for the keyword of holders for instance sticks. We're going to show Google we have authority there. And then we're going to link that page to these articles and we're going to link these articles back to that page. And this is where the bottom up approach comes in. So we use a pillar SEO strategy to create the content. So you need a blog page for this. And we're going to start off with article one, the main article. So a lot of people here may do some keyword research. I actually like to go off 
sort of the top of my head here. For example, I'm going to do a quick Google search. I already plugged this in, how to hold your incense sticks. And I sort of saw what came up because you want something around holding incense sticks for incense sticks holders. A good article was do's and don'ts of burning incense at home. Um, and we can see all of these are blog articles news related. So this would be an ideal keyword to start putting content out for. This is a great one for your main article, the do's and don'ts of burning incense at home. Um, keep it super short, add internal links, uh, add products into here if it's an, uh, an e-com or even if it's SaaS, just link to other product pages. Um, if you're an agency link to some of your more transactional pages, if you need to down, for example, SEO, SEO for realtors, SEO for lawyers, uh, you want to just add these sort of links into this first article. So we're going to create our first article. This is going to be our title, just going to rip them off. Uh, we might want to change this up a bit. Uh, if it was our own one, we could say something like, um, do's and don'ts of just burning incense, or we can even go with something like how to burn incense at home. So listicle one, listicle articles are great for getting traffic um, and for creating articles. It can be something like a uh, number and your title. For example, five best incense sticks for mental health, um, 14 best incense sticks for cleaning and protection, five best incense for cleaning and protection. These sort of things are going to perform really well. And this is what we're going to go for when it comes to this article. Once again, we can apply that to SAS with uh, five best AI PDF converters. Um, we can apply that to agency or any service thing with five best, whatever your offer is. And we're just going to apply that sort of listic thing. Um, ideally, I think it's always good to go with something lifestyle. For example, this is going to be interesting for someone to read. Someone might not necessarily want to revise your service. So if you can find a way to actually make it look more interesting and almost as if it's content that people actually want to consume, um, only someone that has intent might want to consume more product-based content. Um, so yeah, try to keep it lifestyle and entertaining. For well, questioning, educational, this is just, you want to answer questions. So if we go to instance, um, holders for instance sticks, I can actually steal one of these questions right here. What can I use to hold my instance sticks? We can sort of add this into an article, uh, or we can find a way to spin off an entire article around here. Ideally something like, um, how to create instance holders. Like that's just off the top of my head. I can see there's actually people sort of searching for something in this niche or in this topic. And, um, that would be a good article. I'm just going to apply that two more times for these articles. And once they're done, you actually want to link these into one another. And then you want to link them all back to this main page and add the main page into these articles. You want to add these articles into the main page. So essentially you're going to have something that looks like, um, let me get up a pen. This page is going to point to here. It's going to point to here I'm going to point to here, here. You get it. And then this one's going to point back and that's going to point there and that's going to point there. That's going to point there. And now you've got this web of information in the middle where anyone that wants extra information can go find it. You've ideally targeted this keyword orders for incense sticks, incense sticks, um, anything around that niche you've shown Google your authority and that's how you're going to actually rank these. And what you can do if an article really flops and it doesn't perform. What you want to do is then you want to just redirect it to this main page. So let's say this article here, let's say this last one gets basically no traffic. And this is one of the main things people aren't going to tell you when you're actually applying this strategy. Um, you don't have to worry that, oh, I've used this title, I've used a keyword. It just doesn't perform. Just create a 301 redirect. And essentially what a 301 redirect is, it's uh, when you load up that page, nothing is going to be there. It's just going to load you back to this main page. And then you open up that title and all the SEO capabilities of that page again, and you can create another spin off. Before you do that, I suggest you try uh, and make it shorter, add images, add new sections, change internal links, change H1 and H2 titles, just test it out a bit. But if it really doesn't get any traffic, just real one redirect it and then make another article that's similar, but on a totally different topic and look at something else that's working. And so that should get you a lot of authority on this main keyword that you want to rank for. And now you can see, you can just apply that to every keyword you want to rank for. For example, in my position with our local HVAC business, we are going city by city applying. So we go HVAC Phoenix, HVAC Tampa, and that's all going to be under um, HVAC in Arizona. We're going to apply that exact same strategy for another state and rinse and repeat that until we have authority. If you have an e instance um, e-com store, you might want to do that instance holders, uh, another sort of instant thing you sell, another sort of instant thing you sell and create niche landing pages that are transactional, create content around them. Same for your SaaS business, same for your agency, 
just rinse and repeat this exact strategy. And that's probably what most good SEO companies should be doing. Um, they should have transactional landing pages that's going to convert and the article just gets you traffic to that page.